Christopher Ciccone, who dished about his sister Madonna, dies at 63. An artist, designer, choreographer and dancer, he was best known for writing a grudge-settling memoir about his formerly close bond with the pop star. Christopher Ciccone, who devoted himself to his older sister Madonna, living with her, warning her of impending arrest and directing her world tours of the early 1990s, but who later, after feeling cast aside, wrote a memoir chronicling experiences that he described as abuse, died on Friday. He was 63. The cause was cancer, his representative, Brad Taylor, said in a statement. He did not specify where Mr. Ciccone died. After years when it seemed the siblings shifted between chilly distance and bitter feuding, Madonna published a statement on social media Sunday that praised Mr. Ciccone, fondly recalled the years of their closeness and described a reconciliation before his death. We soared the highest heights together and floundered in the lowest lows, she wrote. Somehow, we always found each other again. Mr. Ciccone, pronounced Ciccone, was with Madonna from just about the beginning. He choreographed the music video of Everybody, her debut single in 1982. He was there as a backup dancer during her early club dates. He endured her shouting as he went along for a ride to dizzying heights of celebrity. In many ways, Christopher was the most important and steadfast member of Madonna's early inner circle, Mary Gabriel, the author of Madonna, A Rebel Life, a biography of the singer, wrote in an email. The 1991 documentary Madonna, Truth or Dare, which chronicled blonde ambition, features a scene in which Mr. Ciccone notifies Madonna that the Toronto police intended to arrest her if she were to grope herself on stage, as she had done at other shows. The moment is brief but seems to reveal a complicated dynamic. You shouldn't have told me, Chris, Madonna says over her shoulder as she walks away. Later, before going on stage, she strikes a more plaintive note, Chris, don't let them take me. In 2001, Madonna appointed a different director, Jamie King, for Next World Tour. Drowned World. A falling out between her and Mr. Ciccone ensued. She was my family, he later recalled to The Guardian. I wasn't close to my other brothers and sisters, I moved out when I was 18 and moved to New York. He felt, he continued, suddenly alone. In 2008, he became, to use the term of the New York Times critic Alexandra Jacobs, one of many Madonna griffers, writing Life with My Sister Madonna. The book reached number two on the Times's non fiction bestseller list. Mr. Ciccone seemed caught between the gossipy imperatives of a tell-all and lingering admiration for his sister. I am truly proud that Madonna is my sister and always will be, read the concluding lines of his introduction.